Well, there it is, my friends. I know I've been looking at this 1 5th scale hydraulic loader for a little while now on the show. Pretty new to me, so I'm excited about it. Sorry I've been so quiet. Uh, it has been Christmas, of course, and uh, we're going through a little bout of the cold and flu season through our house, so Baby Mac and uh, Jem and myself, we all have to stay kind of close to home, but it's given me an opportunity to work on this big machine. Insane, hey? So this is the front hydraulic piston. Now I said before in the introduction video this could lift 500 pounds. That was my mistake. Uh, it weighs 500 pounds, it can push 500 pounds, and it can lift 250 pounds maximum. So there we go. So some correct information I found out. Uh, I'm going through the machine. I've had to figure out, you can see it's all chain driven with drive shafts. These drive shafts are bigger than my fingers. And this is a hydraulic piston on this side. Same on the other side, you can see right there, that turns it left and right. And I had to go through because I was having some wiring issues and you know, just random odds and sods that needed to be fixed. So I've been trying to clean it up. There is just a heck of a lot of wires to be seen but everything's separated into the hydraulic, uh, uh, I guess, actuators. I don't know the proper term for these. What do they say on them? Yeah, hydraulics. Uh, yeah, well, these are just basically the pump controls that pump all the fluid. There's the tank on the bottom, the two batteries. These are actually two 12-volt batteries hooked up for 24 volts. There's a big relay. The relay runs through to a fuse. 200 amp, moving through to the drive motor. Now I've had to pull this apart. Actually, this is a motor on top. Here, let me get around. That goes into this gearbox. Now I took this whole gearbox apart and it's actually a screw drive on the inside. Uh, 60 to one gear ratio in there. Some folks say this, the, the tires look kind of small for it. I agree, but at the same time, I also have to think about uh, the size of the drive shafts and you know the, the power distribution and changing the gears if we make the tires any bigger. Uh, I think just learning about this machine right now is something I have to put a great deal of time into. In fact, even though I just rebuilt this axle, I want to open it up again, even though I have to take all of this out, the whole hydraulic pump, everything, and just check the gear mesh. I did mesh it, I did give it quite a, quite a good gap, because uh, I know that it's locked all the time, so being on cement is kind of tough, so I gave it a little bit of play, but it almost sounds like it's too tight, but I don't know. Lots of time spent on this while my uh, baby boy has been napping in bed and uh, getting better. So I went in here, looked at the control box, the robotics. It's basically a robotics computer in there uh, hooked up to a Castle ESC and a receiver uh, from Futaba. All the power cables run through throughout. It's really quite an amazing machine. And I know everybody's been waiting for me to go out and do some heavy work with this machine. Number one, we haven't had any snow yet. And number two, uh, basically, like, like I said, the family's been down for the count on antibiotics. <laughs> but still really, really cool. Shall we make it lift me up? <laughs> Let's do it. Gonna do some good work. 